everybody. We are at Manuals making everybody's customized color kit. So we're gonna make a quick video to show you exactly how to apply it and what the directions mean when it says. So it'll help you out a little bit. In your little kit, I have mine here. You're going to get an instruction sheet. You're gonna get a little mixing bowl with all the developer that you're gonna need. A spoon for mixing. Your customized color. Gloves. a brush and some alcohol swaps. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is put your gloves on. If any of you know me, you know this is the step that I always forget and my nails look horrible, so you do not wanna forget this step. Sorry, I'm taking a while getting my gloves on, it's stuck. All right, next you're going to take your little container of developer and pour it in the bowl, emptying out completely. We've got it pre-measured for you so that everything will match and mix properly. Take your customized color. You may need to use your little spoon a little bit with this one to get it all out. Because you wanna make sure you get it all in the bowl. Okay, so I got it in there. So now we're just going to mix it thoroughly to make sure that it's completely even. There are several colors in each bowl we make customized for each client. So you wanna make sure that you mix it completely and thoroughly so that all of the colors mix together. Okay, so next the instructions say Mix hair into four sections, starting at the part line and working your way towards the ear. Sorry, I'm at manuals and y'all know that the light turns on and off automatically, so it may come and go in here and there. So what that means is I'm gonna start at my part line, you'll see my nice pretty roots, and we're going to part down towards the ear. That made one section. The next section is going to be here. So here's the two section and then in the back is three and four. If you're only doing a partial, there's really no need to do all four sections. You can just do around the part line, around your face, and then subparting. As long as you got the product, you might as well use it, right? So what I'm gonna do is start right around my face because that's where I am the most resistant. And you're going to make sure that you cover it completely. You want to be as neat as you possibly can, but you also do not want to miss any of those stubborn gray hairs right around your face because let's just face it, those are the ones that we see. So keep going all the way around by your ears, making sure that you saturate. What you want to be careful of is making sure that you do not overlap. If you have highlights, you do not wanna use this base color over your highlights. So you wanna make sure that you are being very careful watching, just doing the little spots right at the root. If you're doing just a touch up, if a little bit overlaps, it's not gonna hurt it that much if you do not have highlights. But if you have highlights, make sure you're paying attention to where you start and stop, okay? So what you saw is I went through the part line and I'm gonna go back to my crown because my hair parts off. So as you can see, I'm just kind of feeling my way around. And we're gonna go back. I'm gonna bring that section back in that I was showing you what the four sections meant. Use the tail of your comb to help with those sections or with your brush, I'm sorry, and that will help you a lot. So I'm just going to kind of come around the ear and go up in that section and then do the same thing in the back. You'll kind of notice that the hair color itself will help you hold it in place so you don't have to have a clip. So now we're gonna take one fourth partings and come up and do the new growth. Make sure that you cover. So just continue taking the tail of the brush and making as straight as line as possible. It's just easier if you can get it straight. And just cover up the new growth. 
Just go all the way down. We miss y'all, by the way. We really, really miss doing this. That's why we're here as much as we're allowed to be, because we miss y'all. Keep going. And I don't know about y'all, but around my ears is the most stubborn, so I'm going to make sure that I'm extra careful paying attention that I cover all of those grays. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Remember, these kits are just to kind of tie you over so that our clients can still be beautiful even though we're stuck at home. We want y'all to feel beautiful. So if you miss a spot, it's not gonna be the end of the world by any means. I mean, I do this for a living, but I'm not probably gonna get every single spot on my head. So just do the best that you can, just making sure that you don't overlap your highlights. I'm only going to do a partial of the video because I don't think that any of y'all want to watch me do this much longer than that, but I will explain to you how to continue to go for the full application. Another note, you do not want to put this color up and try to use it again in another couple weeks in case your roots show. It will oxidize and it won't be pretty. So. When, what you do not use today, you need to make sure that you dispose of, because if you use it again later, it won't work. Hopefully, we'll be back and we can take care of it in a couple weeks for you. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this all the way down. If you have a child who is old enough to help or your significant other, they can also help by parting and doing it for you, especially those of you who are purchasing the full. It's a little bit harder to get to the back and know exactly what you're getting, but they can follow these same steps and do the whole thing down. If you get the full, you will literally just take it in the middle, like you're gonna do pigtails, and part it off, and then just work your way parting as much as you can feel. You're gonna do the best you can. We're just gonna to try to make everybody feel as good as they can about themselves and get their roots covered up so y'all can be beautiful while we're all stuck together at home. Talk to you soon, bye.